Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2014 set 1 guys. Okay, so the question is consider the following pseudo code. What is the total number of multiplications performed? Okay, so the question is what is the total number of multiplications to be performed? Okay, so anyway, let us uh, go through options, but the option seems to be not numbers, right? So half of the product of three consecutive numbers, one third of the three consecutive numbers, one sixth of the three consecutive numbers. Okay, so it's in terms of three consecutive numbers. So, okay, so I think there is no particular function. So what should be the value of n? Okay, so anyway, let us assume. So they give d is equal to two guys. Okay, so for our easy understanding, let us take n is equal to 3. I think it will work, right? Yes. Okay, so let us start the first for loop. So first for loop will work from i equal to 1, 2 and 3. Similarly, the second for loop will work internally for 1, 2, 3, right? Yes. So this will also for work for 1, 2, 3. This will also work for 1, 2, 3. Okay, so internally we are saying k is equal to j plus 1, right? Yes. So k is equal to j plus 1. Okay means it will run from run for 2 and 3 right yes so it will run for only 3 it will run for nothing yes similarly 2 and 3 i might be doing something wrong as i am uh, feeling it okay okay so inside what we are doing is uh, d is equals to d into 3 okay so we are internally multiplying 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 oh my god which is indirectly 2 into 3 power 9 so in this way we are multiplying so that value will be really high right or is there any printing mistake so just to give me a second guys I am thinking there is some kind of mistake in it because why that why will that value go that much long right yes okay okay so they, they, they did not give any kind of uh, hint right so just to give me a second guys I will be cross checking with this okay so after observing for some time i found a silly mistake here guys okay so basically here it started at one and here it started at i so basically for two there is no chance for this thing right yes similarly for three there is no chance of these things right yes okay so now let us count the question is uh, the number of multiplications so here you will have one multiplication two multiplication three multiplication four multiplication so in total there occurred four different multiplications guys okay so they are saying a consecutive numbers are sum right so let us add a 3 so our number is a 3 so two con three consecutive numbers means before we will have two after you will have four right yes so divided by something so we don't know exactly what it might be 1 by 6 or it might be 1 by 3 or it might be 1 by 2 divided by something is equal to 4 so what will be the result guys so you need to multiply them right yes so that is nothing but 4, 4 you can cancel and you can send x to this side. So it is nothing but x equal to 6, right? So with this you can say that c is the correct answer, guys. Got it? Yes. So it's a quite easy question. But the only thing is I did a silly mistake there and I, I took around 10 minutes for me to realize, guys. So I was just thinking like what exactly is wrong? I was just checking the code again and again and finally found that I took i as a wrong value. Okay? Yes. So now you got an idea, right? So how we'll be doing some silly mistake because I did not concentrate. I thought it's one only. And I have returned the cases, right? Yes. So now you got an idea, right? So basically they are not asking the exact value, but they are asking the number of multiplications, total number of multiplications. Got it? Yes. So with this simple analysis, we have just found it. Got it? Yes. Okay. So the thing here is that is not 100% clear. Three consecutive numbers means he mean n into n minus 1 into n. So these are the three, con sorry, n plus 1. So these are the three consecutive numbers which he mean. Got it? So now you got some clear idea, right? So exactly how he, he is framing the question and how we need to solve the question. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.